got a good one right there. My goodness. What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are down on the river to see if we can go catch some big old bass early this morning. It is humid as can be. I'm sweating like crazy already, but I want to say we came down on the kayak, but nope. We bought the uh, two-man bass boat, the Pelican Bass Raider, and a special guest arrived, our mud motor. So we are going to go fish this river like nobody else has. We're going to go run up river and see if we can go catch some bass in some of these still little pockets along the roots and other stuff. And this area is a little bit more heavily pressured than other areas. So hopefully a spinner bait, a jig, a top water. Um, there's all kinds of lures we could be using down through here. And I think they're going to be biting, but there could be tubers later on. I don't know what could happen because I've never gone up this section of the river during the summertime. So it ought to be interesting, but let's go catch some big ones. All right, let's get this thing started and see how she does. Oh yeah. This current is coming through right here, so I figure this would be a good spot to just kind of start out. I've got my 3 8 ounce Guggenbait Zinger here tied on. This thing has been so, such a good spinner bait for me. And with this, with this current coming in, this should be a good setup for some bass to be hungry right along these edges. Oh, we got one right there right off that grass. Per oh yeah, a little jumper. Nailed it right along that bank, right on the grass. Not a big one, but good way to start the morning. And the bass in this river are so fat comparative to their size. I mean, every bass is just chunky, but that means that they're probably eating a lot and they're a lot more aggressive. Thank you, bud. Compact this back down. Man, this spinner bait. If I ever lose this thing, I think I got a backup, but my goodness, that thing's been so money for me. Right back in there. Oh, we got a good one right there, too. Oh, this is a real good one. Come on up here, buddy. Come on up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feisty. Oh, this is a good one. This is a real good one. Oh, oh no, he threw it. Dang it. Ah. <sighs> uh. How big would you guys say that was? That was a big one. Oh, five, five pounds. Oh man. I've had such good luck hooking percentage on this thing and I should have known better and let him run down instead of trying to pull him to the surface so quickly, but dang, I'm excited. I'm sorry y'all. But where there's one, there's more. These are the pockets you gotta watch out for. Oh, one hit it right there. Look at the size of the red breast in here. That's what I was talking about. Golly. They are so big. Oh. God. That's awesome. Oh, we got another pocket right here. Here we go. such a good spot too for a big one to be sitting. 
Man. Well, I came up on top of it, but I don't know if I spooked him. I did it as soon as I tossed in there. Are you serious? That is so cool. As soon as it hit the water, that, that boy hit. <laughs> oh, look how chunky these things are. Thanks, bud. All right, we're going to have to move. I've noticed I haven't been getting any bites. It's been mainly near where the current's at. Whoa! That was nuts. That was seriously crazy. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. Or at least it feels like it. I need to keep it down. Keep it down. It's not even coming up. I can't even see it yet. I'm going to play it out. Whatever. It made a big old boil on this spinnerbait. What is this? Is it smallmouth? The way it's fighting, it's a smallmouth. Is a small mouth, I believe. Yes. Oh wait, no. Oh great, one of those. That's a small mouth, right, guys? Or is that a hybrid? What would you guys call that? Is that a hybrid or is that a small mouth? My goodness. Looks so much like a small mouth, though. Is that like a Guadalupe smallmouth hybrid? I have no idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. All right, thank you, buddy. That was a cool bite. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can make it up this river rapids. I don't know. I can make it up through there so I guess we'll find out I am really testing this thing out today one in there what'd we catch is that a smallmouth 
Oh, it's a large mouth, I think. Huh. One hit right there, right there, right next to the boat. What did we get? Oh, we did get a small mouth. Yes, look at the colors on that dude. Oh, he swiped at it, almost got him in the eye. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Oh, dang. That's a good looking fish. All right, buddy, thanks for the hit. That was cool. Oh, we got a good one right there. What did we just hang off the back side of that bridge column? Oh, no! Oh, that was a big one. God, dang it. Oh, there's a good one right there. That's a real good one. We got to get this one in. This is probably the biggest one. This is probably the biggest one we've hung. Oh my, this is a real good one. Or at least it's pulling like it is. It may not be, but, oh, nope. But it's a good one. Definitely a good one. Look at that little fat chunk. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, bud. Well, we came out here to do what we were going to, and that was to catch some fish. I can't tell you how many big ones I lost today, but I caught some good quality fish. Smallmouth, Guadalupe, Guadalupe hybrids. I mean, so many good, good species that were on this little river trip. And running up the river like that through those rapids is an adrenaline rush. But we are trolling back downstream. The plug came out of the motor, so luckily I don't think we burnt it up, but the oil plug came out, so some oil did spill out. But it's inside the boat, so we all good. And I had a good day. That spinnerbait is proving to be killer on the river, just like it always has when I was a little kid fishing on the river to up until now. So thanks for watching, you guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.